some really practical ways in the classroom that you make sure you're being inclusive and kind. Okay, so some of that actually is with the course materials and some yeah. of it is in the actual interactions with the students themselves. Yeah. What people don't always realize is how much of that inclusivity um, come takes the form of course materials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, so I use something that, you know, I got this learning this in my teaching and learning center work. Mm -hmm. There's something mm -hmm. called the TILT framework, T-I-L-T, and it's called Transparency in Teaching and Learning. Dang. And it's guidance for how you design your course assignments yeah. so mm -hmm. that they are more transparent to students. Mm. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Because transparency, I had, actually have a colleague who once said to me, yeah, transparency is kindness. It is. It is. And it is, and transparency is really important for equity. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for leveling the playing field. Absolutely. When my fiance and I started dating, like mm -hmm. he used she, her pronouns mm -hmm. and then they, them pronouns. And that was a hard mm -hmm. switch for me, mm -hmm. but it genuinely just takes like a few extra sign, uh, seconds of thinking before you speak. Which goes for everything yeah. in general. Yeah. Just think yeah. before, um, yeah, or ask if you don't know. Right, right. like yeah. my mom is like one of my biggest supporters with like me being queer mm -hmm. and it was so mm -hmm. difficult for her. Yeah. But like, um, especially because like my cousin is trans as well mm -hmm. and my fiance, um, mm -hmm. it's, it's taken her a while and it's mm -hmm. been like a big learning curve, mm -hmm. but you just have to think. A few, like 12 minutes, I think, before it was announced that the trip was canceled, um, one of my environmental professors, mm -hmm. Sarah Malik, she oh, is Shana. an angel, <laughs> <laughs> um, she had sent me a an email saying, oh, there's going to be this trip to Puerto Rico, yeah. and it's like environmentally focused, and it's a Spanish-speaking country. Hello. I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> it's destiny. It's destiny. Yeah. Yes. Destiny. And like I said, 12 minutes after that, I was like, oh, this sounds so cool, but I already went to do the Guatemala trip. And then 12 minutes later, it was canceled. It I'm was like, canceled, and you're like, well, go to Puerto Rico. You were just telling me something. <laughs> That's literally the definition of like one door closes, another one opens.